In today's video, we're going to be talking about everything that you will learn if you major in computer science. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Hopefully, everybody is having a good day today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kazim, and I post college programming and lifestyle-related content. I'm posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three times a week. So go ahead, subscribe down below, and give this video a thumbs up before we even get into it. So I know a lot of you guys know that you can become a software engineer with a computer science degree. A lot of my channel is geared towards becoming a software engineer and helping people and a lot of my experiences. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out Monday's video where I talk more about my software engineering journey. So what are you really going to learn in CS? Like, what are you really actually learning? Well, first off, it depends on what type of computer science program that you're going to be taking. Many of these programs vary in the type of courses you have to take, but I'm going to be going over four quick and general topics that you'll most likely come across in CS. Also keep in mind that most computer science programs will prepare you either for a job in the industry or for graduate study, so just keep that in mind as we go. Let's get into it. Alright, so first we have computer programming. You will start off by learning a basic high-level programming language. This can be Python, C++, Java, or a mixture of all of them and when learning these programming languages you will learn data structures and algorithms and once you have a solid foundation in these programming languages you will then go on to learning um, more complex learnings so this can include anywhere from data visualization cryptography neural networks and this can even be using a language that you already learned more extensively so let's say you were taking a machine learning class and you've already been studying python in your computer science program it's likely you can apply what you know in python and maybe use like the numpy libraries that python offers for machine learning appliances okay so next we have computer theory and com what computer science is is the study of computers and computing as well as their theoretical and practical appliances so it's not just programming languages what that means is that you're going to actually have to learn theory and learn the background and the actual science of computer science and for the most part this can just be really understanding the data structures and algorithms that you learn so for example if you write code and you run it and then you get it to work successfully it's that understanding of how you got it to work what did you actually do when you wrote the code what are the underlying um, steps and what are the really the concepts behind it and this is what that learning and understanding of computer theory is going to help you with all right so next we have computer organization and this is going to be understanding how a computer works on the inside as well as how it performs basic operations you're going to be learning how computers can actually move store and transfer information from place to place as well as learning about the cpu computer computer memory and the circuitry that conducts computer operations and I have to be real I have to be real I have to be real I hated these classes man all of these courses that had to do with computer organization were really really tough for me personally so I'm just I'm just letting y'all know I'm just letting y'all know but you can expect to learn all of this information throughout a span of courses and classes so lastly number four we have calculus and discrete math and a lot of people wonder like are you going to have to take these math classes are they really essential in computer science and the answer is yes you are going to have to take these math courses and in some cases in some programs you might even have to take physics and biology Luckily for me, I didn't have to take physics or anything like that because I didn't. I don't want to even touch physics. And just sort of listing them off so you guys have an idea. Like I said, yes, you're gonna have to take calculus, but there's also discrete mathematics, discrete structures, Boolean logic, um, stats courses, linear algebra. Those are some of the courses that you can expect to take. But do you really need these high-level math courses for like the actual job? It really just depends on what job you're doing. Some jobs make um, have more math than others, so it, I guess it just really depends. So hopefully after watching this video, you will understand a lot of what you'll be learning if you major in computer science. If you look in the description, I'll have a lot of resources for you guys to check out to learn even more. And I'll also have my free resume layout for you guys to check out that helps me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching Wednesday's video. Y'all can catch me Friday with another video. Make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a like, and comment, all of that good stuff. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.